everyone. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Lozello's Sports Medicine Report. Today I'm going to talk about low back pain, specifically one of the main contributing factors to low back pain, which is weakness in the deep spinal muscles. The multifidi muscles are often weak in people who experience low back pain. Pain. Low back pain is one of the most common health problems worldwide. It affects approximately 80% of people at some stage in their lifetimes. Low back pain is a common cause of disability. Exercise and manual therapy are the most common non-invasive and conservative interventions for low back pain. The lumbar multifidi muscles, which are often abbreviated to the LMM, provide continuous feedback to the central nervous system regarding body position. Atrophy of the lumbar multifidi muscles can compromise neuromuscular function and contribute to dysfunctional movement patterns that place a greater demand on the lumbar spine structures. The lumbar multifidi muscles, often you may see this abbreviated to the LMM, plays an important role in the lumbar spine stabilization. Compared with all lumbar muscles, the lumbar multifidi muscles are shorter, more compact, and have a large cross-sectional area and short muscle fibers. This morphology allows the lumbar multifidi muscles to generate very large forces over a small distance and makes the lumbar multifidi muscles well suited for stability as opposed to mobility. Spinal stability is achieved by the lumbar multifidi muscles working synergistically with the abdominal muscles, pelvic floor, diaphragm, and larger muscles in the lumbar spine. The lumbar multifidi muscles have been shown to atrophy after the first episode of low back pain and not recover automatically. Injury to the intervertebral disc or zygomatic joints through shared intervention causes a reflex inhibition of the lumbar multifidi muscles that is followed by atrophy and fatty infiltrate. Distorted input from the dysfunctional Lumbar multifidi muscles to the central nervous system can alter proprioception and impair the ability to control trunk motion, thus placing a greater demand on the lumbar spine structures. Deep musculature consists of the lumbar multifidi muscles, the transverse abdominis, the internal obliques, the diaphragm, and the pelvic floor muscles. Exercise has become the cornerstone of treating and preventing low back pain. Evidence suggests that a lack of muscle strength in the multifidi muscles can contribute to low back pain even in the absence of degeneration. A study of adolescents aged between 14 to 16 years of age who had minimal to no degenerative changes show that weakness of the lumbar multifidi muscles was a risk factor for developing low back pain. Dysfunction of the lumbar multifidi muscles results in delay and reduced activity of these muscles. Larger multi-segmental muscles compensate by coactivation when there is multifidi dysfunction. Motor control errors or lack of multifidi acting before larger global muscles increase compressive forces against spinal segments and results in pain. Motor control exercises involve retraining the multifidi muscles to become active before larger global multi-segmental muscles become active. Spinal stabilization exercises improve spinal stability by improving trunk muscle coordination and anchoring the deep musculature, which prevents overactivity of the superficial musculature. Low back pain meta-analysis has shown that spinal stabilization exercises are among the most effective forms of therapy for improving low back pain. Exercise is the most common conservative intervention for chronic low back pain. Stabilization exercise programs have been widely applied for low back pain treatment because they are effective in reducing low back pain and disability. 
stabilization exercises aiming to improve the function of specific trunk muscles that control the movement of the spine through regaining the control and coordination of the spine and pelvis. These exercises could be effective in treatment of low back pain. Strengthening the lumbar muscles, specifically the lumbar multifidi muscles, is an important objective in lumbar spine pain treatment. These exercises can help strengthen muscles and maintain asymptomatic function. Lumbar stabilization exercises can provide therapeutic benefits in the treatment of chronic low back pain through increased dynamic stability and increased lumbar muscle strength. You may be asking yourself, what does this mean? And I'm going to explain that to you. What it means is that the lumbar multifidi muscles, which are deeper muscles, which connect one vertebrae to another, if they are weak or they are not functioning the way that they should, then the larger, more superficial muscles, including the erector spinae muscles and the quadratus lumbar muscles, have to work harder. And those muscles fatigue quickly they because they have to do so much work they have to work to stabilize the spine so one of the main objectives in prevention and in treatment of low back pain is to strengthen the lumbar multifidi muscles the exercises to strengthen the lumbar multifidi muscles should be performed without activation of the erector spinae muscles and the quadratus lumbar. So there are several different exercises that you could perform. I have videos for those exercises. I also have an anatomy video for the multifidi muscles, which I'm going to provide a link to. But the exercises that you could perform, I also have videos for. And I'm not going to repeat them in this video because this video would be so long if I did. But one of those exercises is called the abdominal drawing in maneuver. This is an exercise that strengthens the transverse abdominis, which is the deepest of the core muscles and the multifidi muscle. Other exercises that you can employ include abdominal bracing, abdominal hollowing, which is also known as the stomach vacuum, the pelvic tilt, and the football pelvic. Tilt. These are all videos that I have done, so I will provide links to those videos just so you can fully watch them and completely understand exactly how to perform these exercises. Now, please remember, watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. So please see a medical professional if you are suffering from any type of low back pain. This will provide you an evaluation, a diagnosis, and point you in the right direction for your treatment. Again, watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Always make sure that when you are performing any type of exercise that you work through a symptom-free range of motion. And also, if any exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, please stop immediately and find a viable substitute. Strengthening the lumbar multifidi muscles is a key component in the prevention and rehabilitation of low back pain. When you start any exercise program, always start at your current health, strength, and fitness level. Never start at the level you were at before your injury occurred or the level that someone else is at or the level that you used to be at when you were younger. Please start at your current health health, strength, and fitness level. Strengthen the lumbar multifidi muscles to help to prevent and rehabilitate low back pain. You can perform the abdominal drawing in maneuver. You can perform abdominal bracing, abdominal hollowing, which is also known as stomach vacuums, and you can perform the pelvic tilt or the fitball pelvic tilt. Thank you, everybody, for watching today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report, where I spoke about the lumbar multifidi muscles and how weakness in those muscles can contribute to a low back pain. 
I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book, and you can also find my blog. Again, championshipchiropractic.com. My blog contains articles on spine health, sports medicine, chiropractic, health, fitness, and nutrition. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please feel free to like this video. Please leave suggestions, feedback, or questions in the comments section below. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. O. Z. L. O. D. C. If you are watching this video, you are on my YouTube page. Always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between your training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury-free and accomplish your goals.